up everybody it's your boy coat guy coming at y'all with another video and in today's video we're gonna get in my predictions for texas a&m season before we start hit that like and subscribe button and let's ride all right last year texas a&m finished the season off what were they eight and four yeah eight and four throughout the regular season <clears throat> nine and four if you count the bowl game they had a very close game to clemson last year i feel like they should have won it uh, feel like officiating got in the way of that game, but it is what it is. <coughs> and then they went on, had some losses throughout the season. Bama, of course, had the great, great seven overtime game against LSU and finished the season off with a win in the bowl game. This year, they got almost their entire offensive line returning. They got their wide receivers returning, especially Kendrick Rogers. They got Kellen Mon returning. And on defense, they don't have a lot returning. They have a couple players, but most of these players that they have this year are not starters. <clears throat> but starting the season off, they're at the house against Texas State. That should be an easy win. That should be one of those 70-something point games. Then they go on the road to play Clemson to finish off their home-and-home -home series with them. And this, I feel like, is going to be a big-time game, okay? It's Jimbo's second year at A&M. He's trying to make a splash. Last year, he almost did by beating Clemson. Really, that, that, that game is probably the best game Clemson played all year, probably the closest game they played. <clears throat> and Jimbo would love to, you know, beat Clemson. So coming into this game, I feel like I got, I got A&M winning the game. I feel like it's going to be a shootout. Clemson's defense is, I mean, it's not going to be garbage. It's not, but it's not going to be nothing like it was last year. They lost that entire defensive line. I don't see, I don't see where you replace that production, especially just in one year. Xavier Thomas is going to be a monster for them. KJ Henry could definitely be a monster this year, but I don't see him being that level of a monster this season, but... Regardless, that defense for Clemson is not going to be what it was last year. A&M's offense is going to be exactly what it was last year. And then some because of, well, I mean, they're returning. They're growing. You know, they're keeping chemistry going. It's just going to get better. And I see this being a shootout. And I got I got Texas A&M winning this game. All right? Big time win for them. <clears throat> then after that, they come back to the house. They play Lamar. Psh, easy win right there. Yeah, they stay at the house and they play Auburn. That game's probably going to be a battle. Nice physical. Auburn's defense is no slouch. But Auburn's offense has got a lot to work out with the quarterback play. And it's this is going to be, you know, still the beginning of the season, breaking into the middle of the season. I got A&M winning this game. And then after that, they take a bye. No, not, they don't take a bye week. They stay at the house and they play Arkansas. That's going to be a victory. No problem there. <clears throat> then they get a bye week, and then they go and play Alabama. They'll be at the house in College Station for that game. This is going to be a game that really matters because if A&M really wants to take a step, this is a game they gotta you got to win. Nothing else on your schedule really matters because Bama's in the West. you got to get through the West if you want to get to the, through the SEC. But I'm giving A&M the loss here. I do believe Jimbo is going to... Stay with A&M and have plenty of success with them. But at this point in time, I do not see A&M matching up with Alabama and winning a game. Then they go on the road to play Ole Miss. This is a game that could also turn into a shootout. Ole Miss is going to have firepower on offense. Neither team really has a defense. I'm going to go with A&M to win the game. Too much star talent, too much firepower, too much experience. I don't see Ole Miss making a run for it. Then they come to the, back to the house, play Mississippi State. This game, I don't think will be a shootout. It could be, but I see A and M will just walk easily getting a win again in this game. And after that, they stay at the house. God damn, A and M's got a lot of home games this year. But they stay at the house. They play. University of Texas, San Antonio. Nice little cake game. They'll get the win for that. And then after that, 
They stay at the house again. And they play South Carolina. That could become a battle. It all depends on South Carolina. I know South Carolina has the potential to be a competitive team this season. But, I mean, supposedly from a lot of people, they had the potential last year too, and you saw how that worked out. No matter what, though, I got A&M winning the game. Even with all the potential I see in South Carolina, I don't see them having enough to beat Jimbo and A&M. It's just not going to happen. Then A&M goes on the road. They go into Athens to play Georgia. And this will be a very high marquee game, especially because if my predictions hold out to this point, A&M is going to be down to one loss. Georgia will probably be undefeated or have one loss at this point. And this game is going to matter. Big, high-profile game. But going into Athens, and it's going to be a night game. We all know this. I don't see A&M getting the win in this game. I just don't. It's... This is not the Mark Rick era. It's hard to win in Athens under Kirby. I don't see it happening. So that'll give them their second loss. Then they finish the season off playing against LSU. And this game is going to be a very great game. It's not going to be a seven overtime game or nothing like that, but it will be a great game. LSU is going to have an offense this year. Their defense is still going to be stout. But... I got A&M winning this game as a bounce back game and a statement game, letting the world know that they are on their way. They might not be at that top tier status just yet, but they are on their way there. So my predictions for Texas A&M is that they finish the season 10-2. and two. Worst case scenario, I can see them going 8-4. and four. Best case scenario... I can see them going 11 and 1. That's just the best case scenario. But I'm predicting they'll go 10 and 2, which is improvement from last year. And it's a step in the right direction with AM, especially with the level of talent they've been recruiting at. It's, they won't be they won't be stepping back. Jimbo Fish is not gonna let that happen. They just gotta make that step forward. But make sure y'all hit that like subscribe button. I got more videos in the SEC dropping. It's your boy Cole Gotti, and I'm out.